Now, the family of Britain's most famous Prime Minister will travel to the Caribbean this week to apologise for the family's historical ties to slavery. William Gladstone's father, John, was one of the largest slave owners in the British West Indies. The visit by the ancestors of the former PM coincides with the 200th anniversary of the 1823 rebellion in Guyana. In a joint statement, they said they believed their ancestors' actions amounted to a crime against humanity. So is this just the tip of the iceberg for families of slave traders? To debate this, I'm joined by my pack here in the studio. Talk TV contributor Esther Kraku, former newspaper editor Emily Sheffield, and the co-founder of Momentum, James Schneider. Thank you, all three of you. Now, Esther, I know you're not a stranger to this conversation. You've had it a few times on television before. Um, I think there's, it's coming back around again because Gladstone is obviously such a name, a big yeah. name in this. They're going to Guyana. What struck me about this is the reparations figure. I think it's somewhere around £100,000. Um, it's going to be used to pay for research into the impact of slavery. It seems like a good cause. Yeah. Uh, 100000 seems to me a bit small. I mean, obviously, there is always the question of, well, if you're going to do this, then you really need to bring, the, you know, bring back the whole value of, of, of how much the slave owners were, were paid off. Um, but there's the question of, because for me, this conversation has been in the public space for a while now. We know the issues of where does it stop? You know, Africans were also trading Africans. The Arab slave trade of Africans was the most barbaric. There are actually more enslaved people on the planet now as we speak mm -hmm. than there were at the height of the slave trade. There are all these questions, which I'm sure they're familiar with. For me, I think what strikes me is this is a very public kind of exercise of spit shining their halos, right? If you're <laughs> going to do this why do we need to know about it for me it's like you know a homeless giving a homeless person 10 pounds and filming it and putting on social media to show how virtuous you are i have no problem with how they want to spend their money i would like them to give me the hundred thousand pounds <laughs> i could certainly use it could you I use a hundred thousand pounds that's Emily, such a on. mean i think that's such I a know, ridiculous it's true. attitude to have it's, it's true they're making a public apology which many of these um countries guiana included are demanding from people who does they go ahead and do it they do it publicly and you're going oh i just think it's Shining those Not because the thing, the thing Come is, come on, that's it's so, so ungenerous. It's so, it doesn't help like, anyone. What do you want them to do? Apologize or not apologize? Uh, listen, this is the thing. Uh, this is why, uh, ultimately, I do not care how they choose to spend their money or how they choose to behave. It's but, not about the money. But, you just complained. You said you think it's spit shining their halo because why did they need to make it public? Yes, why do they need to make it public? in the Caribbean have been calling for public apologies. They go ahead and um, do it, and you they don't tell just call them for they don't just call for a public I mean, apology. They, they, call, they, they, they I'm can't sorry, win. That you can, they also call for reparations. You can apologize a million times, but if they don't feel like they're actually getting reparations, if you're actually trying to rectify the wrongs of the past, they, they're not going to stop. It's not. They're not just asking for an apology. Thanks. They're also asking for reparations. That's, that's, that's different. different. That's, that's arguing that's about whether the 100,000 figure is right or not. And mm. we could, you know, everyone could keep arguing that has to be originally paid 14.6 billion. Well, mm. if they have that money, so, they're very but welcome. But they probably to do don't so. have that money, so they've settled on something that maybe as a family they can afford right now. James, it's a hundred thousand in cash. Okay, so people just trying to wipe the slate clean. Well, you, I shouldn't be wiping the slate clean. It should be the beginning of something larger. I think it's a sim the hundred thousand is a symbolic amount, and who knows how much mm. money they have. Um, but uh, the point is, it's important that it's public because we're talking about it. We mm. haven't wrestled with our colonial history. And exactly as Emily was saying, in the English-speaking Caribbean, they really want to have this debate. And, they, and it's important uh, for them to know that lots of the wealth that was gathered up here, not by the majority of people in this country, by a few very rich families, was off the backs of their ancestors. And so but where they want to be having that debate. Where, where, uh, uh, so should my answer... This is not should, a boundary should, should... case. No, but this it is, is a case. case. This is not a boundary case. This is a boundary case. Because there are loads of Irish people, the... there are loads of Irish people that would like reparations. Are you going to be the first in line to give them some? But Sorry. that's not the, the point the, you were No, making. but that you is the point because you shouldn't publicly Hold on, I made, I made several points. I said, one, th this is a public exercise in them spit shining their halo, which it is. No one needs to know about them. They're not more virtuous yeah, than I. This doesn't that, help though. anyone. But also, if we're talking about slavery reparations, which we are, if we're talking about slavery reparations, there were loads of people that were slaves from various parts of the world. Where does this end? And no one wants to answer that question because they know it is ludicrous okay. and you'll never this, have an end th point. This okay. is very obviously not a boundary case, though, right? You've got somebody who's whose son became prime minister, okay. who, were, who his son spoke in parliament against abolishing the slave trade. It was on his plantation that the, Dem the Demerara uh, slave uprising began. He did, uh, by the way, change it later on in his career. I mean, he was a great, lip, you know, he did it, switch. Sure, but the, 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 the money that he got, he was, I think, the third biggest um, recipient of compensation that- His father was, yeah. His father was the third biggest. So for that family, Part of the reason why they've got so much money, presumably today, is because they got paid off 
for first of all because they did slavery and then they got paid off for it. But you can extend that argument anywhere. Part of the reason why we're sitting here in, in you know in this very wealthy, successful country, for instance, is off the back of many people and basically being enslaved in parts of China. Do we have to do the same thing? The reason why I'm making the point as to where this is end is because we are all, everyone sitting in this room, are beneficiaries of some mm. sort of slavery at some Great. point. A lot of it modern and current. Where, where is your shirt from? Great, this is fantastic. Who, no, who, because the thing we is, should, I can make the argument about the, your shirt I love your, argue, I love your argument. I love your argument. I think we should take it further. I think this should be a starting point. No one gets the slate wipe clean from this. The starting point from this should say, oh, now we really should talk about why there is such injustice between, for example, Guyana or the Brit uh, English Caribbean what end? and the UK. To it, rectify it by just giving them more money? No, I would if, you know, change the trade system, change global patents, change economic structures. Those are the things that we could do long term. And you could unite the majority of people in Britain and the majority of people in uh, former colonised countries because the majority of people in Britain also were... Uh, exploited by the, the ruling class in this country that also hyper-exploited the ruling class. I think, I think it's possible. Bringing, it's bringing impossible Emily back in, because I think what's interesting about what we're hearing between this is also the voluntary nature of it. It's not mandatory, like you said, Guyana demanding, or some, some Caribbean countries are requesting, uh, but it's up to these families individually to decide whether or not they do it. Do you think the Gladstones are doing the right thing here, and do you think they're doing it the right way? I do think they're doing it the right way, and the Trevelyans did it just before. And I, I think that it is right. I don't think they're just trying to spit shine their halo. They're actually putting their, the history of their family and who they are massively in the spotlight. This, let's they're face welcome it, a lot to of do people, that. I don't, I don't know who this guy is. I didn't know William Gladstone's relatives. Um, I didn't really know about the Trevelyans either. So they're actually putting themselves massively in the spotlight. So I don't think they're trying to halo themselves. I, oh, think, well, genuinely, I, I, I do think they are. I but, think genuinely but... they're part of a movement that is, is, is huge and Well, right. you've just touched on the point of are, it being a movement. And they are quite right. But you seem to be... My, my point was just that it's good this is happening. Uh, well, this and is it the should thing. be public. Uh, I, I and we don't shouldn't think it's attack going to, them for doing it. To be perfectly honest, this them. is the biggest manifestation of white guilt you ever see. And, it, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's an extension of white privilege. But I will say this. The reason why we're having this conversation, because this is one family that we don't know, we're not friends with, they're not our family members, but the reason why we're having this conversation is because there are wider implications. There's, there's always going to be a wider societal implication. In California, for instance, they're trying to spearhead, uh, you know, slavery reparations, even though California was not a slave state. Most of the people there are not they're slave not descendants. They're not slavery reparations, no. they're reparations for racial discrimination. No, 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 they are, they are for adults, adult descendants of, of slaves. That's 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 the group that they are demanding Over reparations. Over racial discrimination. And I know this, state, and I know this, slavery. and I know this because I have relatives that live in San Francisco, who are of Ghanaian descent, who actually ironically benefited from the slave trade because their ancestors made a lot of money off of it. But again, people want to be ahistorical whenever we talk about these things. The point I'm making is, I don't care what the Gladstones want to do. They're one family, they have more money than God. Give me some, please, but do what you want with it. But the, 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 the bigger point I'm making is the wider societal implications. If we're going to have some sort of, eventually, some sort of reparations tax, or they're going to look into people's bloodlines, actually, you're mixed race, so you get half, you pay half uh, reparations and give half of it back. It's so complicated and it's so complex. And this is just an unnecessary exercise, yes, in spit shining their halo. There are a bunch of white people that feel guilty and they think they're doing, they're benefiting. You know what, if you really want to benefit people that are former uh, colony slaves, go to mm. Sub-Saharan Africa. Trust me, there's a lot, there's a plethora of charity work you can do there. Mm. Plethora. I never thought we'd talk about spit shining halos so much <laughs> on this show. <laughs> Esther, you really got everyone talking with that comment. Esther and Emily and James, thank you very much. Really fascinating. Un